What's up, everybody? We're here, and I have another e-scooter. We're here in Blythe Park in beautiful Bothell, Washington. This place used to be a golf course. That white building was like the clubhouse. Now it's a park, but there's some other structures down the road that I wanted to go check out. And I thought it would be a good time to try out the scooter at the same time. Let's go get a closer look at this clubhouse. Do these pick up golf balls or something? That thing, that one over there. I don't know if they had food or, you know, you bought your pass or whatever here. Let's explore a little bit and then I'll talk a little bit more about the scooter. It's all boarded up. There's a cone for safety. What the heck is down here? Oh, yeah. This is not ideal uh, scooter terrain right here. Oh, it goes uphill actually pretty well, even in the gravel. My voice is gonna sound like a robot. All right, so let's check out some of those other little structures that I was talking about earlier. Ah! So I'm not sure if this was part of the golf course. Let's investigate. Oh, what the heck is that, dude? What's a little, what the heck? It's a little underpass. Hmm. All right. This is the golf course again. There's this old bench. There's some remnants that show that it was a golf course, but maybe at some point you would have been able to kind of walk under here, under the bridge, I guess? I'm not sure. And then connect to that other side over there. There's our scooter. Okay. Here we go again. Like this looks like more golf course, huh? I don't know. According to Google Maps, those other structures were somewhere over here. Here. Oh yeah, there you go. Let's check this out. Chair. Don't think you'd have a very fun time sitting in that. Ooh, some retro old fridge. Vegetables and juices. Let's check it out on this side. There's the front. Nothing too exciting. This house is probably still worth like half a million dollars or something insane. It seems like a great time to tell you that Karoma sent me this beautiful scooter for free. Use the scooter so you can go find stuff like this. Okay, I see a little bridge over there. It's kind of fun when you uh, lose traction in the mud. Let's see. No, it doesn't quite do it. It's a little slidey. Oh my God, if I fall, that's gonna be so embarrassing. Okay, well, we found our bridge. It said something about salmon. A portion of this park is being restored to provide habitat for salmon. Oh, that's cool. It's pretty crazy, but sure enough, those little salmon do use these tiny little creeks like this, apparently. I mean, I've never seen one in here, but I've heard about it. I'm not going to do a full review on this scooter uh, because there are already a bunch out there that do a really good job of telling you all the features and why you should buy this one and this and that. I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna ride it around for a little bit longer here. My version of a review video. Plus button increases or decreases the drive mode. Of which there are three. Pink, which is normal. Orange, which is a little faster. And red, which is sport mode. And I don't think it actually changes the acceleration, but uh, I think it increases the top speed. That's another thing too is you hit the throttle when you're not moving, nothing happens. You kind of have to push it and then hit the throttle and then you'll get the power. And a lot of scooters do that. I think it's kind of like a safety thing. Yeah, it definitely struggles a little bit on the uh, gravel and on the hills, but this is definitely not what it was supposed to do. So I'm okay with that. I see something, I see something. What's up there? Go through a little river. Oh, nice. Hello. 
Huh. A little area sitting. It looks a little treacherous, so I'm gonna go the other way. Maybe go back over that other bridge. I think that's a different bridge. And then there's another structure over there. I don't know if you can see it. And hopefully we don't disturb that guy with the dog anymore. There's no air in the tires, which is good, uh, I guess, for this, because they're not gonna pop. But it's also bad because I think pneumatic tires soften the uh, bumps a little bit. And it does have this like shock absorber in the back. Here, I'll show you. There's a tiny little shock absorber, a little suspension on the back, no suspension on the front. Should probably stick to like paved roads with this thing, but we're all about breaking the rules here, clearly. Ooh, that is the other thing, is I need to take a thumbnail. I brought my camera along for the ride this time. All right, we'll keep thinking. Here we go, and let's go this way. Pleasantly surprised by how well this thing does off-road. Aha, there's another structure over here. This must be like a city thing because I see a city of Bothell truck. Some type of furnace or something in here at one point. And then this, I think, is some type of like garage situation. I'm not sure. Let's go take a closer look. Doesn't really give us much of a clue, does it? Just some little garage thing. Storage probably, who knows. All right, possible thumbnail location. Does that scream a million views to you? Me neither. Try to get low, try to get a little bit lower on this one. More interesting maybe. Venturing forward where no scooter has ever been. Somebody really wrote cow on there and drew a cow. Top tier art right there. We're down to three bars on the old battery pack. Okay, 13 miles per hour. I can't believe this thing is actually handling this so well. Goodbye, old house. Should I take a thumbnail there? Nah, people will just be confused. They're already going to be confused. Stuart, what are you doing? Riding your scooter around in the mud like a crazy person? By my calculations, and by that I mean I looked at the scooter, and I'm pretty sure the motor is in the back. So if I go down this little muddy area, and try to kind of slide the back out. I wonder what's gonna happen. And clearly in my light blue jeans and white shoes, I dressed accordingly. Oh, oh yeah, look at that action, dude. Whoa. Before we cross back over, there's one more thing I wanted to look at over here. The remnants of this old bridge. Oh, you can't really tell. But it looks like at one point there was a bridge here that went across. There's a trail down there. All right, we're gonna have to go down on the trail for you to see what I mean. And we're going. All right, through the tunnel. Then you'll be able to see what I mean. There you go. It must have gone right over there. And that's all that's left. Okay, back to the park. Oh yeah, something I should probably point out here is that every time you break, Something insane happens. This thing has flashing blue lights anytime you break. I don't know why. Hello. I'm learning that there are a lot of dogs at this park, so that's nice. <laughs> so I have one more mission. There's this bridge. There's another bridge way down there somewhere. We're gonna go find it, and then we're gonna complete the loop of the forgotten golf course. And hopefully I don't fall. Oh, shoot. Okay, hi. Overall, like I said, very impressed with this little thing. Uh, Chroma E86. E68? I can't remember. I'll put it up on the screen. But this one came with the seat. I took the seat right off. Not my thing exactly, but it is nice that it came with the seat just in case you, you wanted one, if that's your style. I've got a little promo going for you guys, so 30% off if you want it. I think that puts this thing right at about... 250, 260 bucks. I didn't have high hopes for this thing. The uh, the handlebars, they kind of have this like weird mechanism to attach and detach them. See, like what, what the heck? So instantly I was a little skeptical about the build quality as you click them in and it's already kind of like jiggly and stuff. But overall, pretty solid little scooter. A lot more power than I thought. And uh, a little quicker than I thought. 
a little better on hills than ones I've tried in the past, so pleasantly surprised. There it is, our beautiful golf course park. It's been fun. Let's go find this bridge and cross over into the land of, I don't know, being done making this video finally. Bridge, sweet bridge. All right, guys, thanks for watching. That's the end of this video. And in true e-scooter fashion, no, I'm just kidding. Could you imagine? Hi, big boy. <laughs>